Thank you very much. Uh, yes. Let's not talk about human capacity. Let's talk about workers' welfare. Relative to the wage bill of your state, what are you doing with, the, with respect to workers' salary, pensions, and all that? And most importantly, the pressure we get on social media is that you don't pay salary. We need you to clear this air. Uh, this <laughs> air. Uh, I, I, I think this is a fallacy from my opponents. <laughs> This is a fallacy from my openers who say that, oh, don't, don't pay salary. If I have not been paying salary, at least you would have seen the reaction from the workers themselves. The truth is that in Benue State, there is a challenge. During a period time, I will take you back to 1979 to 1983. For one year, the civil service were short. The teachers did not go to work because of this issue of salaries and emoluments and all that. During Akume's time, during the military, and then Akume's time, the issue was still there. And during the uh, Susan administration, the issue did not subside. We've been having this problem. It has been there. So when I came in in 2015, I inherited over 70 billion arrears of salaries, pension, and gratuity. This is what I've been trying to solve. We've been able to reduce. Today, we have less than 40 billion that is outstanding to pay at the state level. At the local government, we have less than 25 billion that is outstanding. And you will recall that there is no state that can do this. I have accumulated this over the years. In 2017, I said that, look, let me draw a line. So in 2017, workers at the state level were owing them five months. Workers at the uh, local government level and teachers, uh, teachers is 10 months, uh, local government is uh, nine months. I drew a line and started paying. As of today, I can account that from 2018, 1st of January, I've been able to pay salaries up to date until we started having some problems in the economy, which everybody is aware, which is not just peculiar to me, but to all the state, over 30 states are having the same uh, problem. As had, when we started having this problem, the issue has been that uh, for two months I am owing, but as soon as money comes in, I pay. Even this month, we are going to pay salaries to workers. But let me tell you, one strategy I have adopted, which has paid off and has helped me, is to allow the civil service union to be part of the allocation committee. So what comes from the federal government, what comes from the IGR, what comes to the local government, the civil servants, the pensioners, the, the pensioners are also aware of how much comes. And how we appropriate it, they are also part of it. That is why I have not had any serious crisis when it comes to the issue of uh, revolt against me about pension. We have been paying. If I have not been paying, how will workers uh, really uh, fund themselves. But the truth is that there are problems in the economy today. NNPC are no longer remitting to the Federation account, and it has been a huge challenge to all the states in our country today. And I tell you, we'll continue to do our best. I have nothing to hide, and if anybody knows that we have taken money or diverted salaries or anything, I challenge them to bring it up. But if you tell lies, I will take you to court. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I want to know, between 2018 and now, how many months' salary are you owing, sir? Between two 2018, months, you are owing two months. As I told you, it is just a two months. I have been able to clear the salaries of April, that of May and uh, June. I'm here to clear, but I can assure you there was a little improvement on the allocation for Good. this month. Yes. And I'm, I'm willing, uh, because I prioritize the issue of payment of salaries, because Benway, service, Benway State is a state that the economy is driven by peasant farmers and actively uh, uh, contributed by the civil service. So when you don't pay salaries, there's a problem. Is so I'm aware of this. With this. I have never told with issues of service. Yes. Pardon? 
Is it true that you have the highest number of civil servants in your states? Well, it, it has to be that because we don't have we have we don't have industries like other states do. And so the industry we have is civil servants. And so you just have to do <laughs> employment. Some because you want them to be engaged. You don't want the use to just be floating. Every year we have Benue State University, we have a University of Agriculture, we have other tertiary institutions. So every year you have thousands of uh, our children graduating. And sometimes you want to engage them. But let me tell you, many people may not be aware of this. Benue State is paying the highest salary in the North. Take your statistics, compare with any other state mm -hmm. in, Niger in, in the northern Nigeria. In Nigeria, Benue State is paying uh, the highest salary after Lagos and River State. This is the truth, and this is what on ground. But we have decided because inflation and several other factors have contributed. You can't talk about even reducing the salary. You can't do that because I go to the market, and I know what the cost of life, cost of uh, goods and materials uh, is in our country today. So there is no way I can talk about reducing uh, the salaries of these people. That is what I inherited, but I accepted it to be. And this matter is not peculiar to me. Yes, opposition can go and say anything they want, but it has been in existence. I inherited it. Uh, it wasn't uh, Akume that accumulated it from uh, Periku to Akume to Suswam to myself where we are now. But one thing I have adopted, which no other state uh, uh, government have done, is to ensure that I involve the civil service union into this matter. And again, let me tell you, in my attempt to try to find a lasting solution to the issue of pension and gratuity, I have domesticated the pension law. Today, we have contributed money to Pencom to the tune of over 5 billion naira. Recently, Pencom came up with a report, and Benue said was amongst the five states what, that was uh, said to be diligent and paying this money. I believe that at the appropriate time, we were able to reach okay. a certain uh, benchmark That's with Pencom after paying. We'll borrow money from there and clear the areas that is existing. And I think this is the idea. This is the first time that a government in Benue State have made attempt to solve the issue of pensions and gratuity. And All that right. is what Mr. I'm Governor, doing. We and have this to I have explained to them.